Now that you're well into your preparations for the upcoming Waterford Viking Marathon, be it your first time or you've decided to come back for more, the last thing you want at this stage is any injuries to disrupt your preparations. Some ways of reducing the risk of injury include warming up properly before going for a run, cooling down properly afterwards, recovering well, and most importantly, following a proper training program. Another important way of reducing the risk of injury is by using cross training or resistance exercises to help prepare yourself for the challenge of running those 26 miles plus that little bit extra at the end. Cross training involves including other, part, other types of exercise during your week, be it cycling, swimming, or some resistance work in the gym, which has been shown to be a really effective way of preparing your body for the challenges of running the marathon. For the calf raise, start on both legs. Think about going up for one and slowly coming down for the count to three. To progress, go on one leg at a time. Try and work until you get too tired to keep going. For the lunge, you're going to lunge forwards twice to each side and then reverse twice. Try to keep your chest tall, knee in line with the middle of your foot. You can progress this exercise by holding a weight in both hands. For the plank, start in the front plank position, hold for 10 seconds, then go on to one side, again hold for 10 seconds, turn into the reverse plank so you're leaning on your elbows and your heels, 10 seconds, and then finish on the opposite side again for 10 seconds. To progress, try and build up the time you're holding on each position from 10 seconds up to a maximum of 30 seconds. Also to make it a little bit harder, try and lift one leg in each position. For the single leg squat, try to keep your knee in line with the middle of your foot. Think about sitting down. To progress this exercise, Try sit down onto a low chair and back up again on, on one leg. For the side leg lift, keep the top leg long and straight. Don't allow your foot to come forwards. To progress, do in the side plank position. Again, keep the top leg long and straight.